Relive it now in highlight form. The Lions and Cougars, oh my. Zach Wilson, didn't take long for him to open up the cannon, connecting with Gunnar Romney downfield. And how about Zach Wilson's stat line? Only 10 of 16 for 212 yards, but 13 yards per completion. That, big, that first one, a big one to add to his stat line. Connects with Isaac Rex for a touchdown pass. BYU up seven to nothing, one of four first half touchdown passes for Zach Wilson. And Tyler Algier, Mitch, was outstanding today. Went over 140 yards rushing. He, he, he's looked great the entire year. And, and today is just another showing of his great performance and who he is as, a, as an athlete going from offense to defense back to offense. And being this good is fun to watch. 21-0 BYU just like that. Now, Zach Wilson, this is probably my favorite throw of the day. Just puts it on a dime to Neil Powell in the back corner of the end zone. Mitch, what do you think about the route and the pass? It was great all the way around. Uh, the quarterback throws the receiver open, but the receiver's got to leave room for the quarterback to even make that happen. Great job by Neil Powell to, to roll the shoulder, catch that ball, and, and it's just beautiful. They've done it all season. And David Isaiah Kafusi picks up the fumble. His eyes are big, man. You know what that's like. Listen, we talked about the defense struggling a little bit this afternoon, but three turnovers they created when one of those ones set the offense right here with Isaac Rex to get in the end zone. And how about Isaac Rex? Another fantastic afternoon. Two touchdowns, three catches for 20 yards, but he's begin he's become that go-to guy. He's the, in red, the red zone, zone target. Zone. He's got eight touchdowns on the season. That's incredible. The end zone is 11 yards long when he's in that end zone. That's a fair statement. North Alabama, hey, they fight to uh, the end of the first half, get into the end zone. That gives the BYU coaches something to be upset about. Yell a little bit about in the halftime locker room and the Cougars, well, before halftime, they, they had a minute 37. They only needed 37 or 57 seconds because Dax Mill is doing his thing. How about Dax Mill? Four catches for 101 yards. Averaging, oh, just 25 yards per catch. No biggie. 58 yards on that catch. Then Kavika Fanua, 22-yard touchdown reception. He scored multiple touchdowns today. Yeah, I know. BYU scored 66. A lot of guys had multiple touchdowns. Into the second half. Malik Moore let one get away right before halftime. Comes up with the interception there, and then Mitch, to BYU's credit, they turn those turnovers into points. What you have to do, if the second you get a turnover, you have to go capitalize right away because the other, the opposing team, their their heads hanging. You got to capitalize right away, and that's what BYU did. Fanua, seven-yard touchdown grab. Then Miles Davis, his first carry of the game, goes for six yards. Nice little cut outside. David, he's into the end zone. Tell you what, Miles Davis provides a nice little change of pace for that BYU running back group. Four carries for 54 yards, average 13 yards per carry. So I'd say he came ready to play. 52 to 7 until that. I mean, North Alabama, they had some explosive play. But BYU's offense with Jake Oldroyd, all cylinders firing at high efficiency levels. Oldridge from 53 yards away makes it 55-14. He is a weapon, Mitch. Jake the make. It's such a weapon to know that someone's up in the 70s, 80% past the 40-yard line. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's an incredible weapon that hasn't even, we haven't even had to use that this year because Zach Wilson's been so good. Uriah Leatow forces the fumble. Micah Harper jumps on it. And then Miles Davis once again into the end zone for his second touchdown. How many guys scored two touchdowns? Algier, Fanua, Rex. Davis, Rex. Four guys with two touchdowns. When's the last time that happened?